Hey guys, so I just wanted to make this video because I have a testimony that I want to share with everybody, um, especially those that are going through some bad and horrible times right now where they feel lost and feel like they are losing the faith in God and feel like their relationship with God is not as strong as it was. I want you to know that you are someone that he loves dearly so keep your faith i know it's hard right now but keep your faith and let me tell you why recently i just got in a horrible car accident my car was total i can show you a picture but my car was total basically i walked away from that car accident with both my hands both my feet intact I was fine physically I mean I have some pain but physically I'm fine I'm not I'm gonna be recovering from this so after the car accident I did not know how I was, I was gonna get around I'm from Philadelphia where public transportation is not as convenient as it is in New York especially since I work outside of Philadelphia so I was thinking like oh my gosh like how am I gonna get around and through it all I was overwhelmed, but at the same time, in my heart, I knew he was going to make a way. I knew God was going to make a way for me. Um, I understand it's it's natural to be stressed out and it's natural to be upset, but never blame God for anything bad that happens to you because it's not his fault. Anything that happens that's bad, God has something good planned for you. He loves you with everything. So after my car accident, I did not know how I was going to get around. Basically, God set me up in a position where I was able to buy a car. And honestly, the car was worth more than I paid for it. So I was very thankful that I got a great deal off of the car. And it's not like a crappy car. And it's not a car that, you know, I got ripped off on because it was a friend of the family. So I trust them. God just put me in a position to be able to get this blessing and I'm so thankful that I was able to get actually a better car than what I had so I came out at the end I was only without a car for two weeks not even two weeks maybe a week and a half so I'm really blessed because of that and on top of that I've been dreaming about moving since I was in high school initially I wanted to move to New York but since my family is from New York and it's just so close to home I just felt like I want to do something that's spontaneous because that's what I am I'm a spontaneous kind of person so I wanted to do something different and just go somewhere new that I've never been and I was like oh I want to try out California because I've been to Las Vegas and I met a lot of California people and I'm like they're so sweet I mean I might not really know I might be you know completely wrong but at the same time I felt like that's where I want to be and whether I'm wrong or right if I'm not meant to be there I can always come home so I'm young right now I'm only 23 so I figured why not do it why not go for it so I've been saving up my money and planning and my goal was to leave by no later than um, September my last day at work was going to be September 5th and I had it all planned out <laughs> so I do it my job does have a location in California but I never thought about working there because honestly my dream is to be an actress and I felt like working at a desk job is just gonna hold me back so why apply from one desk job to another desk job so it just didn't seem logical to me so I was like I'm not gonna apply to their other location because I want to find a job where I can be flexible to go to acting auditions. So that was my first initial thought. However, they sent us a um, a post, well, email stating that they were hiring for the California location for my job. So I'm like, whatever, I'm not going to apply for that. But then I gave it some thought and I was like, maybe this is God telling me that this is going to be my pedestal my stepping stone basically to get to where I'm supposed to be not that I'm not 
financially able to do it on my own but maybe he knows that it will just be easier for me to, to go through my job and basically what happened was I gave it a, I gave it some good thought and I applied so I prayed about it and I was like God if you really want me to, to not be in California I understand you would you know close this door and you'll open another because I know he always does so I prayed about it I was like but if you really want me to be in California if you really that's the plan that you have for me then please let me get this job so today I was offered the job and I'm so ecstatic and I'm just like so thankful and grateful because God keeps blessing me and even though I might go through something so unfortunate not understand like why me he still continues to bless me he continues to show me that he loves me regardless of my doubt regardless of my times I'm just angry with him he loves me so remember that it's not his fault when you go through something bad but remember to be thankful through those bad moments that he still loves you and that he will get you through it that's my testimony and thanks for following my journey